Final episode. It's been a ride, Johnson, but it has to end at some point. Electromagnetic freight barges will be jettisoned out to the center of the colony. Yeah. When your childhood bay get shot. I'm still crying, man. Yeah, you gotta you gotta tears. bring out the skates. His tears are still running down my cheeks. I wasn't too invested into this story, admittedly, but now I'm like, man. We will arrive at our destination That's fucked up. Five minutes. Yeah. There is no immediate danger of hitting any obstacles. <sighs> well, I hope you're ready for some much needed last minute character oh, development. Right. Are you concerned about her? I'm gonna miss Ada. Uh, yes. I will too. Hey, she's in the second game. Oh, thank God. If you do not mind. Thanks, Kojima. No, I don't mind. I have calculated the expected rate of crew survival for the present mission. I know, like, Kojima was, like, not very involved with this game, but I'm gonna say thanks, Kojima, anyway. You have asked for numerous transfers from your duties aboard Jehuti. You have also had many chances to do so. May I ask why you are still here? Are you preaching to me again? No, I am simply asking out of curiosity. Well, I really don't know. <laughs> Based on past experience, I can offer several plausible reasons. One. An overestimation of your fighting abilities based on an underestimation of the enemy's war potential. Two, desire for a reward in proportion to the danger of exposure to self-destruction. I don't three, think Leo knows what these words mean. Placing your crew's life in danger. I like to think that all three of those bullet points were based off of Alan. Really yeah. Like Alan was just the biggest piece of shit. <laughs> It is still possible for you to go back now. Leo's like 12. I don't think he's ever logical. I do not want you to die. Ada. Well, can I tell you a story from when I was growing up? Please. I've been alone since I was a boy. <laughs> you you're still a boy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we hardly went out anywhere together. When I was 10 years old, my father was posted to Jupiter, so we went so to two years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I don't actually know if he's 12. I've just been saying that this entire time, but. Yeah, he's like he's probably like 13. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Konami just fucked up and, like, did not know his age, actually. They both wanted to get rid of him. Damn. friends and my teachers too. <laughs> it's always been like that. I was the child no one wanted. Nobody will be upset if I'm gone. Even if I die. There will Sad be no boys. This gets like really fucking existential and dark. Like yeah. <laughs> really out of nowhere. <laughs> like it's just like fun robot game and then like a little girl gets shot and then the <laughs> kids fly and tell them some robot AI. Hey, I don't hey man, we're at the final part of COE1. <laughs> Like we gotta, we gotta up the ante here. I'll devote my life to that. We were doing busy work for the past six parts. Now, now yeah. we got some real shit. Yeah. For someone else, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel that together we can do it. We are almost at the central hub. There are sure to be many enemy orbital frames. It is expected that the battle will begin as soon as we arrive at the central hub. Please be very careful. Yes, sure. I am. What? I am one of those who need you. I am incapable of feeling sorrow. Oh. But do not throw your life oh, away. Oh, no, Ada. I understand. Thank you. We will be arriving. She at the cares. Yeah. Thanks, minutes. Ada. Too bad I can't fall in love with you because you're a fucking AI. But I appreciate you. Hey, that doesn't stop some fictional characters. Oh shit, right. You're right, actually. I kind of forgot about that. So we get to save here too, which is very nice. You know, one thing I will say would have been pretty great if, like, Leo gets in the cockpit. And Ada was just like, I told you, you should have killed her. Look what happened to Selvi's asshole, you know, that'd be great. Yeah. I refuse your order. 
If you try to interfere, I'll kill you. Why do you want him so badly? He's only a kid. Only a kid, is he? He's right. It's not just that frame that makes him so good. It's personal. He embarrassed me. Get out of there. The mission will be accomplished even without you. Look at that fucking robot. You should know. Oh shit. Nate is immortal. <laughs> Almost there. Soon. Oh jeez. Everything will be yeah. well. Oof. I will search for the time bombs being set in this All right. This is a timed final mission. Oh no. All kind of parts of it are. Detonating bombs correctly. How do I do that? It is the same as grab and throw. Yeah, same. I'd like to ask too. <laughs> they never taught me that at school. So the game keeps throwing enemies at you, uh, and also you gotta defuse bombs. Good mix. Yeah. So, there's a few ways to do this. You can either clear out all the enemies and then go grab the bomb and hold on to it till it gets defused. Um, or you can kind of do what I'm doing here. I think I only do this the one time, just to show off that it can be done. Uh, you can just go grab the bomb and defuse it, and it'll give you a few time before the next bomb spawns in, and then you can clear out the enemies in the meantime or do whatever. Okay. Because, um, like, the next bomb doesn't spawn until that scanning is all the way, like, done or whatever. Okay. Um, keep in mind that if a stray bullet from you or the enemy hits the bomb, uh, that will just cause the bomb to explode and you'll fail the mission. Nice. Uh, so don't grab the bomb if enemies are too close because they'll shoot at you and when they shoot at you when you're holding the bomb, chances are it's going to blow up the bomb, so. <laughs> nice, yeah. I, uh, huh. Yeah. Thanks, Kojima. You keep doing this. <laughs> I have to. So luckily, the timer stops when you're holding the bomb. So, <clears throat> this isn't too bad. And also, they throw a bunch of high level enemies at you at once, but then, like, when the next one spawns in, I think they're, like, about here. Yeah, you get Metatrons after each mob, at least, right? So. Uh, I think, like, after, like, every other. I don't think it's all of them, okay. necessarily. Oh yeah, I disarmed it, and they're far enough away. Yeah, like, these are only level 3. Nothing that you can't handle. Yeah. Okay, but this last one, though... I'm fairly certain Ooh. this is the only level 8 enemy in the yeah. game, and it's a fucking Cyclops. Oh no. This guy can be a real asshole. <laughs> yeah. But, just keep dashing, you'll be fine. There's a... There's a flight... or fight response whenever I see that damn timer show up on my screen. <laughs> I don't like that, man. Alright, Virgil 3. I thought we were at Virgil 2. Oh, right, yeah, right, right. The first. <laughs> Virgil 1 was the prologue. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Um, so, this fight is actually a lot easier than her other form. Um, unlike the other one, you're gonna want to get in as close as possible. Her most damaging attacks are her projectile attacks. Um, and while she, she can do some decent damage with melee, she's not as good. Um, as doing melee attacks as her other form, you can get quite a few burst attacks off, uh, or burst melee attacks, rather, okay. uh, off on her if you're, uh, keeping an eye out. But, um, yeah, like, you can see she got, like, two hits in on us and, like, yeah, health bar she doesn't, Yeah, down. she doesn't do as much damage as last time. Which I kind of... See, we got the burst attack and just <laughs> good damage. It makes um, sense. Yeah. Like, I, I like it from, like, a story standpoint, but I feel like they designed this fight with the intention of it being harder. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but I like, I kind of like how it ends up because, like, hey, it's a fucking half destroyed, like, orbital frame, you know? It shouldn't be as hard as when it's fully put together, you know? Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. Got that final burst attack, and now we're getting the cutscene burst attack. Oh, shit. Oof. There was a last bomb. Oh, no. no. Oh. I don't like where this is going. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good job, Leo. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. That one doesn't count, apparently. That was for my friends! <laughs> That's my Leah impression. Ada, could we go and save the frame? Jehuti is not designed to resist entry into Jupiter's magnetic storm. The orbital frame is already being pulled ever faster by gravity. While it is not impossible to save the orbital frame, it is She's hiding right for that big ass storm. I always forget what that's called. I think it's just like the Eye of Jupiter or some shit, whatever. Still, you insult me. I'm not very knowledgeable on space. There's a, there's a, you see that big dot that you always see in every image of Jupiter? Yeah. That's a fucking huge ass storm that's been going on forever and oh. will go on basically forever, I think. Like, I think the year it ends is like an absurd amount and like humanity will probably be dead by that point. Okay. But it's just like the hugest fucking storm ever and it's happening on Jupiter. Okay. And you can see it from space. Learning new things every day. Thanks, yeah. Sony Enders. <laughs> yeah. I was beaten by such a naive brat. Viola. I have lost everything. I survived many deaths. I love Fate's Day Night. <laughs> I lost my parents and my lover. I don't have the functions of Don't know if we needed to know that, but... You know, it's all good. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Right. To survive was the only purpose to life. So my favorite thing is the song playing right now. I like a lot, and on the soundtrack, it's called "Silent Death," and this is anything but. <laughs> she she like scripted this ahead of time. She needs to stop being salty. That's what. <laughs> Me after losing the first to ten. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me after I lose the first time, you know? I killed innocent children. <laughs> Soaky did their blood and eating their blood. <laughs> Jesus, Viola. Okay, you can go now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's like, Ada, can we hang up? <laughs> Why did you want to save this? I don't know. Like... Same. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever experienced any hardship in your life? You I'm starting to relate to Viola a bit more than I should. I love that line so much. Your very <laughs> existence itself denies mine. I want to say that to somebody when I lose to them in tournament. Yes. I'm gonna, have right. the, I'm gonna have the whole, like, Viola death scene, like, An important speech. line is coming up. Okay. Oh, wait, no, okay, we, 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 never mind, I misjudged. What is it? Was I strong? It's hard to believe that I'm still alive. That's so. All right, all right. Viola? I'm checking my watch here. You knew how beautiful the stars really are. Can you leave Viola in a shoe? Get out of here. Viola. Okay. At last. So she references Rodham. Yeah. Now, Zone of the Enders games localization and Zone of the Enders anime localization handled by two different sets of people. Oh, oh uh, boy. We don't have an official character name, like in English, because the game calls him Rodham. 
Yeah. Uh, the anime calls him Radium. Oh. I kind of prefer Radium, because that sounds a little less dumb to me. Yeah. Um, Radium is the main character of Zone of the Ender's Idolo. Oh, okay. And Viola is a character in that. Huh. And also Anubis is here now. Radar didn't catch it. In our present condition, you cannot defeat Anubis. Recommend you fly away. Anubis, you said? You can't defeat Anubis. Dude, we're at the final part. What do you mean? Yeah. That frame is another we gotta beat the game. You two are not, you two are not d destined to meet <laughs> yet. <laughs> Damn. I also love how the blur filter on the screen is even fucking with the subtitles. You! You ordered all this! No, not me. Well, perhaps. In any case, you will die. A farewell gift to Viola. <laughs> so, here's the final boss, Anubis. I see. At least you can't actually damage him. Oh no. And he teleports from behind you. <laughs> 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 I, I hate how you delivered that. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I'm glad this is the final part, man. <laughs> but yeah, I love how like this fucker shows up and like Leo's first instinct is JUT is resonant with that frame. Like what does that even mean? He's twelve. He's not supposed yeah. to know that word. Damn. I was so close. Leo, can you hear me? Leo, Elena, I'll blast a hole in the side walls of the central hub in 15 seconds. Follow the beacon signal. I'll give you cover with my cannons. Be careful. If you deviate, I love how he's just letting us talk. Yeah. Also a big fan of his line, I knew that others could be killed, Yeah, but I never thought it that could got, That got me own. thinking, man, like, shit. <laughs> that's, that's deep. <laughs> Maybe it's because, like, every other time she's, like, almost died, she started giving that speech, and they're like, okay, no, but if you shut up, I'll let you live, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, fuck it. We escaped. Great. Yeah, he's just gonna give up. I love this Blight Town FPS. Yeah. Yeah, it drops really bad in that scene. <laughs> Try not to veer away from the crosshairs marking the beacon. Is that the one? So I, just, I guess we're just never gonna meet Anubis again, huh? No. Alright. So, Johnson. Data, Data was right, yeah. Like, we were never destined to meet. Well, not destined to meet yet. Yeah. So, Johnson, I want your opinion on this. Okay, go ahead. One of the major complaints about this game was the fact that this ending just cuts off and it's like, oh, wow, I guess guess I should wait for the sequel. Yeah. Is this kind of how you felt about it? or Kind of, yeah, I guess, yeah. Cause that's not a real final boss. That is that is the the cliffhanger for game two, you know. Oh. <laughs> Overall, though, this game does kind of feel like a prologue. Yeah. A little bit. Not tech demo, but like prologue. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um. And, and yeah, tech demo or prologue. That's what a lot of people who really don't like this game call it, because they're like, oh, just play two. But like, I feel like this does add a lot to playing two. Yeah. Because Jehuti and Anubis are sure enough coming back. Ada's back. Leo's back. A lot of things are back from this game. What about Sylvie's? What are you going to do now? What? After you reach Mars. You have an important mission, don't you? If it's okay with you. I mean, after you finish your mission, Jehuti's duty on Mars. Are you asking Ada out, Leo? <laughs> Don't. Like. <gasps> Gasp! 
by deliberately overactivating the generator. Oh no. So speaking of things that are important for the sequel. <laughs> Shit. That is equal to the power of 15 positron bombs. Wait a minute. You mean you'll deliberately explode this frame? What about you? All my functions aboard Genuity will cease. So it's a suicide mission? Oh. I thought it was you who told me not to waste my life. Pressurization is complete. Opening the hatch. Thank you. Ada! I'm gonna miss you, Ada. This is what I live for. <laughs> Goodbye, Ada. This is the purpose of living. For those who have no life. So I think this is supposed to be the no! game's theme. It's like... The importance of life or, like, purpose of life. Yeah. For those who are downtrodden or something. But it's hard to say because this game barely has a story. Yeah. Oh, hey, she's alive. Great. Okay. Yeah. Cool. See, so, you now he's happy. He's like, oh, I don't need to worry about the, about the AI anymore. Yeah. Everything's fine. It's all good, right? I mean, yeah. Ada, Ada's not fine, but whatever, dude. She's an AI. It's cool. Also, this ending song is different because we beat the game on A or above rank. Ooh. Only a Rosin Brand exclusive. Hell yeah. A light with the name of HOPE! <laughs> so... How did you feel about Zone of the Enders? Uh, you know what? It was a it was a good watch. I don't know if I would like playing it, but I I liked watching it with you, Rosin. I think it is an exceptionally okay game. Yeah, a strong uh, seven out of ten. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I respected this game a lot more than I did previously by replaying it on very hard and like doing all the pro strat stuff. Yeah, like I can see that. There is a bit more, like, advanced play-wise here than I thought in terms of, like, strategies for dealing with enemies. It, like, it maybe doesn't always look the most impressive, but, like, I had a hell of a lot of fun recording this. Yeah. Um, technical difficulties aside. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Zone of the Enders 2 will not have that, nor will my other PS3 LPs or footage going forward, oh, I promise. Hopefully, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I will do my best, but... Um, yeah, that game, re th like, this really cuts off, though. And, like, you can tell they always had a sequel in mind. Yeah. It's um, like, shit just happened. All right, cool. We're, we're done now. Yeah. Um. It's, uh, it's definitely something, all right. That's for sure. I, uh, I think that what they tried going for with the colony destruction was cool in concept I mean we've talked about this already yeah. it was a cool concept maybe not the most greatest thing for your like action game like hack and slash type deal Yeah. I would like to see that in maybe a more slower paced like like almost like an armored core 5 you know yeah. like I, I mean like what I think like later armored cores got a bit faster uh, Armored like, Core 4 got faster, and yeah. then 5 was kind of a compromise between 3 and 4, yeah, yeah, from what yeah. I gather. But, like, like a game like that, I... I and, I, hey, to be fair, I haven't played those games, especially, like, in-depth, so, like, maybe Same here. that isn't those games. But, like, something like that, where it's like, oh, hey, just make sure, make sure you're not blowing up buildings. Like, I, I like that aspect of, like, mecha stuff enough that, like, I like seeing it represented in games. And as far as I know, this is the only game that's really done it well actually no because um that into the breach strategy game that just came out covers that too but oh huh yeah because okay. like like building like destruction is like a thing in that and like you don't want buildings to be lost yeah 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 um but like yeah like in, in like a more action-based game like this I, I think that there's a lot there in terms of like destructible environments and trying to preserve like defend things from attack 
Or even just the thing you see in, like, Zeta, like Zeta Gundam a lot, where it's like, oh, this is a neutral colony, but we have to fight here, so let's try to kill each other, but not destroy as much, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's... That's a cool idea, and I think there's a good game design thing in there somewhere, you just have to do it, right? Yeah, so. Not sure how to feel about, like, the Gundam-esque start of this game, but I guess it turned it... out okay. Sort of. It, it, it is very... It is very on the nose with where it's, yeah. it's getting its inspiration, that's yeah. for sure. Um, and yeah, and it's kind of weird because I feel like towards the end it kind of... It kind of like becomes to, its own thing at some point. Yeah. yeah. Because you don't you don't see that a lot where it's like, oh, like that is clearly like a broken older woman like clashing and like she is... She is the foil to this, like, bright-eyed, idealistic kid who, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, I mean, like, you, you don't recall any part in Gundam where, like, hey, you and this other Gundam are not destined to meet yet. To meet yet, yeah. <laughs> That's some good stuff. So, yeah, solid game. Not the, not the best, but not the worst either. And there's the rank screen. Hell yeah. Guys, we did it. That's we did it. I did we it. got that S rank. That was on me. We will be back for Zone of the Enders Second Runner Mars when that game comes out. You'll so you'll see me again, maybe. Yeah, yes, maybe I'll be replaced by like Johnson too or something.